in an effort to document. Oh, hi, Scouty. How you doing? In an effort to document <clears throat> um, my latest project, which is kind of an upgrade to the uh, old um, um, weather tracker, was um, I wanted to, to use these step-down motors that I found uh, with batteries, and I had some clever little lighting ideas I'm going to try out with this thing. And um, so this is going to be electric, uh, whereas previous version was a wind-up motor, which was a bit of an iffy motor, to be honest. Um, it was very delicate to try to get those things to work correctly. This is um, going to be attached to a two AAA battery pack that you can see to the left there, which is going to be snapped onto the back, kind of in a little groove with, with uh, some sort of system to allow you to pull it out and replace the batteries easily. And it has a switch on it, so that's going to be the main power switch. The um, uh, This is not finished, of course, there's no details, but this is the main function of it. So the function is right here, you have uh, a wheel, and you can see little grooves there. Those. Uh, this is a little bit of an intricate situation. Inside that cylinder is another one with a vertical slit, and inside that is going to be an LED. So in theory, and I haven't tried this yet because I haven't hooked up the LED, when that barrel spins and the LED is on, uh, it's going to shine out through a vertical slit and then be gated through this horizontal wave slit. And it should appear like a light going up and down, like, like an EKG machine, which I think it will. I'm going to wrap the barrel with paper so it'll look like a readout uh, graph, and then the light will shine through the paper. All theory, I haven't tried it yet. Uh, just to the left, I'm going to put the Santa nose lights to the two red lights will be flashing there. And I'm going to put detail on here, of course. The detail of the original weather tracker was quite nice, and I'm going to try to mimic some of that. Actually, using the antenna of the weather tracker, scaled up a little bit. And this may not be the final one, I don't know. And then I put a little uh, oval antenna here. Again, I'm probably going to ship a few antennas with this. So each one will be able to... Um, so they can be pulled out and replaced. Like you could replace these two now. They're, they're just, uh, there's a hole in the axle that juts through the roof, through the, through the top lid. And then you can just interchange these antennas as much as you want. Now here's the action. I'm gonna turn the battery on. The, the lights aren't here yet. So this is just the motor action. So inside is a step down motor. It's a fast motor, but it's got a gearbox attached to it, which, which steps it down to exactly the rotation, um, a little bit faster than what you're seeing there. Inside, the motor is uh, situated just to the left of the barrel, and it's got a gear on top, and that gear rotates a gear on the barrel, which is a, a more or less the exact same uh, diameter as the barrel. So that slows the barrel down a bit. Now, what's happening inside is the gear that's rotating the main antenna, hi Scouty, the gear that's rotating the main antenna has a cam with a pin and then an arm sliding over to that other one which has an arm on it and that cam causes a reciprocal action on the smaller antenna, on the secondary antenna. And of course the secondary antenna you can aim it in any direction, of any of four directions. And um, that's basically it for now. I haven't decided whether this is going to be a racks unit where I have to put pins on the bottom or whether it's going to be standalone with legs or whether it's part of some other component, but I uh, just wanted to shoot this video to show work in progress. This is about the fifth prototype, uh, all of which before all previous prototypes were just trying to get the barrel to spin and then to get the cam to work. Um, and well, I think it's worked pretty successfully. My next phase is going to be using a soldering iron to put an LED in the barrel to see how that works, and then carve out a space for the Santa nose interior, which will have a button and two alternate flashing uh, red LEDs, which will show as uh, some sort of display on the front to the left there. That's it for now.